Hello everybody, welcome to the first episode of Baldur's Gate Boot Camp from MinMax. MinMax is a place about games, friends, and getting better. My name is Ben Hansen. This is for New Show Plus. Each and every week, we let $10 supporters on Patreon vote to choose which new show we create or continue. This week, Sarah, a lot of good options in there, I thought. I really... I, you tried to uh, <laughs> change the vote, Ben. You were to... in your own Rigging Discord the again. trying to convince voters to go a certain way. Read carefully, guys. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm glad he had a slate of fake electors all mm -hmm. lined up. I didn't yep. say, please don't vote for Baldur's Gate, but I just noted that, like, hey, if we go for that Halloween costume show... We might have some fuel for the Extra Life charity stream coming up with the costumes we can wear. I was just trying to nudge people for the sake mm -hmm. of the kids, Sarah, for raising money for them. And still... People don't want to look at polyester Barbie costumes, okay? They want to look at Baldur's Gate 3. Do they want to look at Baldur's Gate 3 through the lens and through the hands of the worst player of Baldur's Gate 3 of all time? Yes. yes they obviously We are here do. to diagnose a problem, and it okay. is your lack of love and enjoyment of Baldur's Gate 3, okay? okay. Yeah, you could just say lack of love in general in life. You could we could really widen this out if we need we to. We need to see what's going what's going so wrong here. Okay. Uh, well, let me boot up my save. I think it's kind of like end game material. Thank you, ALS, for the big mm -hmm. sub on Twitch. Uh by the way, Sarah Pazorski is right here, and then Jeff Arkiafava, welcome to you too. Hello. Uh, oh wow. Great intro. <laughs> Do you like what we're working with here? We're really uh we're really in the beginning. Oh, and you picked, okay. <laughs> oh yeah, we're in act five of and the first two drow. hours. That'll be interesting. <laughs> Why? People just don't like drows. In the so world? So you're gonna get or... a lot of combative uh, dialogue. Okay. I'm trying to remember where I left off. Clearly there was some combative dialogue that ended in a bloodbath here. Before me. Um, so- Do you I... have all your companions? I have some companions. Okay. Uh, Asterion has a cute hat. Is that worth anything here? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I left uh, Dweebus McMarmot back at camp. What's Dwayne? Mm -hmm. What's his name? Steve? Gale. Gale. Um, kicked his butt to the curb. For now, I'm open to him, if you all uh -huh. say I should accept him in my heart. Um, I have a stupid helmet on. I can, um, I, it's set you to. You can hide it. Yeah, it's shut off during cutscenes, so we're not too distracted and all this stuff uh, from the mm -hmm. beauty. I think um, you can just hide it at all times. I think do you it's know cool. what you're supposed to do now? Sarah? No, I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. Run <laughs> around the world? Okay, well, that's we should cold. Keep, we should keep going north. Um, there you go. So Warmer. I streamed this a while ago, to be fair to me. Um, also, I have How a, long ago? A year ago? Probably two, three years ago. And this is where you ended? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sarah, what did you expect? Did you expect to be amazed by how deep into this game and how well I knew you it? You were just like, wow, like Baldur's Gate's not really like clicking with me and you're like an hour in. <laughs> how long did it take you to get to this point? I've speed run this faster. Three and a half hours is the oh steam clock for how far I've got this. I, well, you've played this game like 14 still level times. Two? It's not important what level I am, Sarah. I'm trying. It's a little, it's a little important. Okay. Oh my gosh. Uh, thank you, Youngster Joey, for all the uh, subs on Twitch going towards New Show Overflow. If we hit that goal, we will be reviving a lost idea for New Show Plus and uh, making a bonus episode of New Show Plus. So thanks, everybody. By lost, we mean an idea that wasn't voted for. Now, Jeff, um... There are children oh, hang on. here, you fool! We was running for our lives. You led them straight to oh, us, so and you let them take the druid too. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable! Now, Jeff, how Look well Joker walking in? Yeah, how well do you? Wait, you don't like her? Her her name's no, Sin. She could be fine. She could be fine. Okay, her name's Sin. How are you playing? She's... What's your motivation here, Ben? <sighs> like, are you trying to be a good person? Are you trying to just be neutral? Like, I don't want to do be your own. I mean, look at look at number five. Yeah, look at your that's what I'm, I'm trying that to That tells you everything you need out. to know about the drows. Uh, here we go. Don't get Jeff. I'm started on the frickin' drows. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, here's what I would like to play as. I'd like to play uh -huh. not like let's burn the world down, but I'm a warlock 
and I want to I want to be like a little stinker around the edges type of thing. So you're going for more like a neutral, chaotic, neutral, yes. yeah, chaotic, chaotic neutral. Good. That's exactly probably more chaotic good. I don't see you being chaotic neutral. I well, when I played D&D &D for like a couple months a while back, I think I was more in the chaotic neutral camp. That would mm -hmm. is how I describe. Like if there's an avenue for fun, I'd like to take it. Overall, I'll help things move along, but I will derail things every other session, you know, that type of thing. Um, okay, so do you think I should... Here's the thing. I don't think I'm clever enough in this game to be chaotic. I feel like to really push at the boundaries of the game, I have to understand the game. Does that make sense? And so I don't really know mm -hmm. well enough, like, oh, when is it fun to, like, use spells well, outside can, of combat like, and you stuff? You can experiment. Okay. This, you can try, you could try new personalities. You know, think of it like puberty. You oh. know, suss out who you want to be when you grow up. I I kind of just didn't choose anything at puberty, and I feel like I'm still in that mm, camp like of like I'm just gonna be so kind much. of. Yeah. Oh God, this is supposed to be boot camp. He's not still therapy. one hour into puberty as well. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jeff, are you like role playing a specific thing in Baldur's Gate? Um. Not Could you please pick an option? No wonder it's been three hours for you to play this game. Oh, I'm yeah, sorry. Those, I'm trying to soak in the world, Sarah. Apparently that's a crime those in D&D. Those two guys are going to fall in love soon if you don't. They're going to start kissing. So oh, boo-hoo. Now, Jeff, will you answer the question? Ben, pick an answer. <laughs> uh, no, I've, I've been I've been mostly a, a goody two-shoes. Uh, with with some murdering, you know, mixed in every now and then. Okay. Okay. But, but not the, you know, not your party members. I'm I've been mostly supportive of the party members. I've tried to be a good leader. You know, that's that's all anyone can ask for. Yeah. Okay. A good leader, but you'll still sleep with everybody in the game. I didn't let Asterian suck my blood though. That I it's drew the much. line there. Yeah, maybe the maybe the role play I'll play is how I like to role play my real life, which is extremely anti vampires. Not the people, but ben, the concept. I'm going to leave this call if you don't select the name. Sarah, answer. furthermore, and I'm, I'm just gonna saying, mess up. I'm gonna mess up the entire layout. I swear. No, don't mess true. up the layout. Don't mess up the layout. But maybe I want to role play it. Look, this is like D and D session zero. You know, before it doesn't matter. Just do whatever you want. Sarah, it's not that serious. You asked how I'm gonna role play. I'm trying to explain. It's how. not that serious. I didn't I'm want saying, a dissertation. Well, let me go on. Here's the idea. No wonder. No. May no. I get the sentence out? I simply out? won't May hear I it get until you one pick oh, no. an answer. Out. I will take my headphones off. I haven't off. even read I can't the. Hear you. I don't know I what these hear hear goons are talking you. about. I just want to say one Hanson, thing. This, this is a this is a boot camp. You can't argue with your drill sergeant but here. But drill sir? sergeant, I'm trying to just tell you that I just want to role play as being mean towards Asterian because I don't like the concept of vampires. I think they're lame. You can you can super do that. Very easy. Every every conversation you have with him, but he's not in this conversation right now, Hanson. Well, maybe he could so be. So if that's your end goal, you gotta Are you, you gotta pick an one answer? of these. You're gonna go drow. Closing, under elf. Show some respect. <clears throat> this woman saved your pathetic life. Wow, you were uh, you were mean, Why and he's still supporting help. you. <laughs> Please, you're begging me to open the gate. I am. Um, Anything to save yourself, you coward. People were surprised. The human's eye twitches. Hang on. He's about to blow. Uh oh. Uh oh. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I think I'm gonna stand back. Okay, and watch. but if you no, no no, if you hover over, you can see what your additions are. So hover over persuasion mm -hmm. to the left. Go to the left. Tick. So it should you should have as a warlock, you should have a charisma buff on that. Okay. Well. What? You should have you should have a charisma buff on Wh persuasion. Why not so, like, there? You should. Can you hover over the word? Ah, there, there it, is. it is. There we go. You apparently just wanted to hover every place but the actual word. So yeah, so because of this, <laughs> I would suggest hovering over each of these and seeing which one you get the best modifier for. So plus three. Depending on what you want. Ooh, that's juicy. Okay, so we can't let the numbers dictate my role playing, Sarah. No, that's fine. But and I'm just letting you know. Intimidation proficiency? So that's kind of my thing? Yeah, because you're a drow. Hmm. And they're intimidating as a species? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, if I want to take both of you down, I will. Otherwise, knock it off, I say. And this is the part where I'm a Viking. Nice. Thanks. Easy. There you go. Let him have it. Continue, please. Enough. Squabbling is pointless. The goblins have found us. And everybody approves. At least we agree on that. This is easy. Even Galen, he's not even there. 
That's weird. How does that work? Yeah, that is kind of weird. What's he doing? What's his secret? He's just back at camp judging me? Why did you minimize the game? I didn't. I'm back to it. I was changing something in the overlay and that minimized the game. I'm not trying to boot up another game right now, sir. I swear to God. <laughs> um, okay. So, oh yeah, she's with me now. I forgot. So I got her out of the fence. Um, apparently I didn't get Shadow Heart. I didn't see her on the ship. I like found her down here. Is that? Wow. Haley seemed to be insinuating that was a rare thing. Yeah, because she, they put her right in front of you, and then she's like screaming at a pod. I was, walk past I was much more into the brain. Yeah. I was all about the brain, boy. She's and, literally begging for help. Yeah, but there's a cool it's brain like, that needed my help, too. It's like too. walking past. I can't believe you missed her. Yeah. You have to intentionally miss her. Yeah, she's literally yelling at you. <laughs> please, please. Please, please help save me. Save me. Okay, yeah. you're going to go straight ahead. You're going to go straight. I shouldn't talk to these goons anymore. You could talk to Zevlar again if you want. You know their names? Yeah. Everybody knows Zevlar. Dude. Everybody knows Zevlar. Is he a big thing throughout the entire game? Well, if you He's would finish the game, deal. we could He's find out. BFD. BFD. Yeah. And a big what's fucking deal? His little Satan. Come what's this race called? In the cave. Tiefling. I need tiefling. To get people moving. And you knew all this from before starting the game, just from D and D, Sarah. That you know, like tieflings are satans. Mm. Okay. They're like demons. And okay. people don't really like them because they come from like Avernus, but now they're living in the rest of the world. Avernus is hell. When they talk about Avernus, that's basically hell. Oh, that's cool. So, all right, is there a heaven? Yes, but I don't know what it's called. Jeffum's arms. Adventurers and even a drow. No one in years, and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well met, and thank you for beating back those goblins. Most brave of you. It's just hypothetical. Is there anything you need? Act fast if you do. The ritual. You like storylines where they talk about dwarves and elves and such? The hmm. judgment was... embedded in that. Yeah. I'm just asking. Like, if there's like a storyline, it's like, oh, the realm of the elves are impeding on my political rivalry. You're into that? Yeah. Okay. That's why I like Baldur's Gate 3. Yeah. And to be clear, is there not enough space for you? Is there be... not enough doors that look like walls and walls that look like doors? Are things too distinctive in this realm? Is the black <laughs> void of space not welcoming you enough? Yeah, that's exactly it. Are there too many trees? To be clear, I think this is an awesome game and I'm glad for everyone who loves it. Once again, Ben, I am begging you to pick an answer. I'm trying to defend myself. Before I get roasted on the internet the for hating this thing that you just laid it's not on an Sarah. attack. Okay, uh, impromptu video review on Twitch. Uh, Shanglini. Um, nobody. Uh, let's see. Shanglini wants an impromptu video review of Baldur's Gate Three: The Quest to Make a Decision. Um, Jeff, I don't know if you want to take that one. Look, Baldur's Gate 3, surprise, surprise game. I went into it a little tentative. I wasn't sure. I was a little hesitant. I wasn't sure what I was going to get. Ended up blowing my socks off. 10 out of 10, until I started watching Hanson play. All of a sudden, my love for this game is just rocketing towards the basement because I've, I've, I've never felt such frustration over nothing happening. Yes. It's, like a, it's, it's like been a, like 15 minutes and we walked into the Druid camp and right. talked to two people. Yeah, how do you think it is? It's in my head. It's One of them's the merchant and we haven't even <laughs> responded to him yet. Right. It's like an episode of Seinfeld without the jokes. Certainly. <laughs> With more sorcery. <laughs> I can't, I, uh, I guess rating pending on this review because we've only seen like 0.005% of the game so far. Yeah. Thanks to Hanson's terrible play. Okay. The end. I think we have diagnosed the issue of Ben not understanding Baldur's Gate 3, though, and that he has played three hours and done absolutely nothing. He yes. talked to one character. <laughs> yes. I'm not denying any of this. I fully agree. I am bad at playing this game. Also, no, you literally Hansen... cannot be bad at playing if you're not even playing it. Yeah, you're not ben. playing. You're not playing. You're not oh, playing it. Terrible. I guess you're going to tell me this isn't playing. Next thing you know. It's not. Hanson... <laughs> You, you started it with like, oh, are you into elves and dwarves? That is that kind of <laughs> no, your thing. No, that's like, like it's this fantasy, fantasy thing. garbage. And 
and the the game starts on an alien spaceship with like yeah no i agree, I agree. monsters going around sucking Very people's fair. brains out i swear to god starting it like the most compelling thing in an rpg i've seen in years is that weird brain thing like will you rescue this little brain creatures like man I don't well, know. This is like keep on playing. This Hansen. is like the Rachni Queen stuff from Mass Effect. Like I don't know what to think of this brain guy, but I guess I guess I'm on board with him. What'd you do with him? Uh, he was my best buddy, and then he died in the wreck, right? As far as I understand. Did you play more. Died. That may not happen. <laughs> Did you see him die? I guess I didn't see him die. Wow. Okay, now if you'll excuse me, I'm trying to read a quest. Okay, don't interrupt him while he's reading. Is there anything you need, he asks. Act fast if you do. The ritual will become will be complete before too long. Also, I should have noted I can't read. Um, Yeah, I'm looking for I some brain worm here. Arrow has grazed you. Nettie could put you to rights. She should be with the others in the inner chambers. But I doubt she'll be taking on new patients. The grove will be locked down soon. All right. And what do you mean uh, by that? I forgot. You're a blow-in. A few days hence, this grove will be completely concealed by thorny vines. None will be able to enter or leave. A drastic measure. But more monsters seem to terrorize this region every day. There it is. There it is. Don't you think my character looks cool? She looks very cool. She looks pretty cool. Hey, all right. I'm glad we're on the same page. Um, well, gotta go. Thank you, buddy. Um, how do you bring up everybody's inventory again? There's Oh, there it is. There you go. Answer my question. Um, do you see anything drastically wrong here? I mean... I mean, you can't really be drastically wrong at level two. There's yeah. only so much you can put on. I've got to be getting close to the end of the game, though, right? Yeah, so close. Okay. All right. Only a hundred more hours. <laughs> this is going to be a long new show plus run. We're playing until it's my goatee. Um, so here's here's what I need help with. Like, I want to understand the boundaries more for the world. Like, can I use one of my... Oh, what's happening? You click down her, so she's going to talk to you now. Oh, okay. Um, Yet these can I be having more fun by using my spells outside of combat, you know? You only have like two spells right now, so to be fair, the answer is yes. Okay. But you also only have two spells, so the answer is probably no right now. Okay. Yes. In great detail, but I have like attack spells, like can I attack this cow? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'd like to do I that. would quick save before you do it. Okay. Your hair falls out and you bleed from every orifice. Your bones Sir, remember when we did that spelling bee? in the bonus podcast we had for Patreon supporters, and somebody guessed how to spell Lazelle, but they hadn't even played D&D. They got so close. Oh, they put an extra L at the end, right? Then you have ceased to exist. God, that was amazing. And a mind flayer is born. Um, that sounds awful. How are you so calm? Is this how you stream this game, Sarah? Do you read your prompts? And if you stick with me, not to you. We must find my kind you read so much on your Twitch streams. It's as simple as that. The first symptoms I think it's cool. Because people, most people don't actually like actively watch. It's just in a different window. Me. Right, right, right. So if you're just like sitting there clicking stuff, people aren't going to know what's going on. Yeah. We all got to go. I got to go uh, shoot a cow. So, Fae Presence. Weakening Strike. Um... Now, is there a, a spell that would be the best to use against a cow? Eldritch Blast seems juicy, right? Yeah, but you, sh you should save. I did. Okay. I'll trust you. Okay, so ready to go. And let's go for the little cow, because it's clearly the weakling, weakling, weakling here. Jesus Christ. All right. So immediately they don't like me attacking the cow. So what the cows. did you think was going to happen there? I thought the cow would explode in a bloody way. Um... And that would be the end of it. But it's just, you've attacked their cows. Even oh, wait. the other cows are pissed at you. Is mm -hmm. it just the cows or is everybody <clears throat> fighting me? No, it's everybody. All right. Mm -hmm. And uh, F6 is quick load? I don't remember. Isn't it like... F7? If you get the yeah, I'm pretty sure it's F8. Like what chat's saying. Everyone's messing with me. Is it really F8? 
Yes, it really is. Okay, great. Hang on. If this is like overwrite all saves and lock into the one. Okay. This is like the Diablo cow level now. Thank you, Bob. That's exactly it. Alt F4, you're saying? That's how you quick mm -hmm. load? Well, what are you going to do? All right. So, Sarah, goals. Coach me. What are we doing? We're just talking to people in the town. You're trying to find a way to get the worm out of your skull. Yes, got that part. Yep. You've landed. You've landed here. You're gathering your companions, other people who have brain worms, mm -hmm. and now you you found yourself in sort of a interesting situation where we have the tieflings and the druids, mm -hmm. and the druids don't like the tieflings, but because of the mind flayers and because of the goblins, um, the tieflings have nowhere to go. Why is that? Because they, you haven't talked to enough people yet, but essentially the druids are trying to kick the tieflings out of their precious grove, and they're going to put it on lockdown. But if they kick the tieflings out, there's a bunch of goblins who will kill the tieflings. And essentially they're kicking them out to send them to get slaughtered. And now you're kind of inserting yourself into it, because that's what you're the main character, and that's what you do. Right, right, right. Or you could also just not. Just keep and running And you could also by. just not side with, you could not side with any side. Okay, that sounds pretty good. So I can just run right through the town. Yeah, talk to that. But you, there, you pass the companion back there. Oh really? Is there a yeah, special indicator Will. of companions? No. That's really cool. So I could have just ran right by this guy and never got him. A lot of people miss Will. Yeah. And a lot of people miss Gale. Really? He was he was in the big fight um, that you were standing in in the middle in mm -hmm. the midst of from your mm -hmm. when you started. From right. Whenever you did that two years ago and completely Make forgot about it. Yeah, sure. He was in that fight, though. Okay. It's interesting people miss Gale. He's the one who's in the weird portal, right? Some people just don't walk past it. And if you huh. don't walk past it, you don't get him. Interesting. Uh, Willy Boy, where did he go? He's not going to wait around forever. Hansen. Wait, really? Is this? Is he up here? He's got stuff to do. You just... <laughs> he didn't actually leave the spot. Oh, he didn't actually leave the spot. This is Will, you guys. Go on. Give me a best shot. Not bad. Again. So I shouldn't, um, not saying he is one, but I shouldn't be using, like, other warlocks in my party if I'm already a warlock, generally. I can't do it. I mean, you can. It's just a lot easier like if you, like, you. spread out your, your yeah, abilities. I mean. Okay. I don't need you to be like me. You just have to buy enough time to run. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. Seems like a pleasant man. He's a good guy. Good guy. Mm -hmm. Trying hard. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm on his hmm. side. You're on the right path, Umi. Go on now. Practice what you've learned. Well met. The blade of frontiers at your The man's smile Oop. bends downward. I didn't do anything. And his thoughts become yours. You are the blade of frontiers racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe held high. <sighs> Hell's great fires. You are on the ship. So your party is just everybody who happened to be on that ship. Are there Not people? everyone, but you're okay. all you all have brain worms and you haven't turned into mind players yet. Okay. So everyone but there are party members that don't have brain worms later on? No. Really? <clears throat> and that's I just... mean there no, there are, there are. But like okay. in terms of like your core members, you pick up some like bonus people, but like these are your core people. Gotcha. Uh hey, we have parasites. Mm. Doomed it's a to terrible way to introduce yourself to somebody. Or so the stories go. But we haven't sprouted any tentacles. Not yet, anyway. Could just be good luck. I'm not so. Your minds collide once more. Will chases the fiend ignited with rancor. She is an infernal war devil. A threat to the living. Evil incarnate. Shit! You saw her. Advocatus Diaboli. Advocatus Diaboli. A devil's advocate. 
a champion in the blood war between diabolical forces and demons. Um, did Divinity have narration like this too, Sarah? It did. Okay, that's interesting. Um, let's see. Does that get Jamie in the blood war? Hunting in the hells, dangerous territory. I'm no stranger to the infernal. Better to slay a devil before her fires burn common folk to ash. Her name is Karlak. I tracked her through mm. the hells to the mind flayer ship. That's my mistake. But the damned elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now, preying on the innocent. I don't kill her. She'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. Hey, let's join forces. An excellent suggestion. But your party's full up. Still... When the time comes, call for the blade. I won't be long to answer. Hey, you? Go to this camp you've never been plan. to. We'll talk more there. That's a that's a good soldier there. He's just gonna go live in a camp based on one conversation with somebody and hope right. that maybe we'll call him at some point. We yep. shan't. We shan't call him. I mean, him. technically the best way to play this game is to swap you out your party well. members based on a few story. words for the kids. Oh, story, Spare not story not combat too. situations. Well, it's like you want you still want to mix them, but like if you know that you're doing something related to Shadowheart, you'll right. benefit from having Shadowheart in your party. Okay. A few words for the kids. Spare a story or two. Bad news, children. You're all gonna die. <laughs> wow. Well, Good job. Go. Little ears here far. I'd better take care of this. I thought he'd be into it. He's, you know, he's a demon. Seems all right. They're like, not like they're evil his people. Kids. Okay. Oh, thank God I'm not a parent. Uh, all right. Should we book it out of this town? Should we keep talking to folks? You can leave if you want. Sure. Let's do it. I assume we can head out this way. The shabbiest door. Nope. If you hit M, you can check your map. Yeah. You ain't gonna shoot me. Your hands are shaking. Put it down. She can't fight back. That's the point. Get out of the way. She didn't kill your brother, Arca. You're better than this. Shoot before you lose your nerve, Tiflin. If you ever had it to begin with. Uh, shut up, those words could be your last. Step between, yeah. Actually, uh, let's just do nothing. Doesn't even matter if you kill me. I'm chosen by the absolute I am. I'm blessed. Here it comes, you little beast. Oh. Well. Are you like surprised that there's consequences to your actions? You always seem surprised. No, I like I like consequences. I'm I don't you know, I don't load in XCOM. I play Iron Man. Like, I like having real consequences to my actions. So, mm -hmm. I, I didn't that's talk good. to her. That's and good. That's There's it. a lot of that here. Okay. I love that. You could have married her, Hanson. Is that true? I, mean, I, hope, you, I, hope, you're, I hope you're happy. Is that 100% true? Of course not. <laughs> How many but, people but can you she marry? Would have, in there? She would have brought you on, like, a, there, would, there was, like, a side thing with her that you could have okay. done. I assume as much. It seems easier not to, if I'm being I honest. assumed as much when I let her get shot in front of me. I mean, easy this, come, easy go. this game is nothing but side stuff. But like, I'm not hard can't... up for, like, one more side mission. Sure, 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 sure. That's how it works. Um, this is a person who played three hours of the game. But it's fine that you killed her. Like, that's fine. Like, you don't have to, you know, agonize over it. Right, okay. Yeah, it just felt... I didn't... To be fair, Sarah, I didn't kill her. I mean, well, there are people dying on Earth right now. You're not jumping in to save them. So are you killing them? Well, I'm not watching them being held at, you know, bow point. I guess that's fair. Um, is that? So that wasn't the way out. Stone door, I assume, is the way out? Or is this deeper into some freaky dungeon? Straight you from You can hell. also travel via waypoints. You could like, fast travel. Okay. Well, I think we're, we're doing all right here. Uh, let's... Keep this adventure rolling, little crew. Bet these folks need something. Old Zevlor. Ah, you. Thank you. You stopped us from making a bad situation much worse. The stories I was raised on don't equate mm -hmm. drow with diplomacy. 
I'm glad to see they were baseless. I'm Zevlor. And you're... Uh, experience share on Twitch. They said, Ben, do you know you can use your helmet to shapeshift into other races? What? Mm -hmm. Did you read the item description? I, Sarah, what, do you want to take a guess? Uh, that seems I mean, interesting. The, the helmet does I, have like 10 faces on it, Hanson, if you hadn't noticed. that's. I mean, there's helmets in Elden Ring that have multiple faces on it. It's not a given that that'll let you shapeshift into a bunch of races. I think this is like races. the special pre-order helmet right like this is like the dlc helmet that you it get it might be like it's from the Along steam press the account that you have on Shadowheart. yeah so i think it's like the deluxe edition or whatever um mm -hmm. okay i uh, he's being nice about drows mm -hmm. well then i'll be nice to him well met though i should warn it's the way you, of the world you know? visitors are no longer welcome in this grove whatever your business here i'd see to it quickly the druids are forcing everyone out. This latest attack will only strengthen their resolve. I don't care about there the druids. There have been several attacks by different monsters. The druids blame us outsiders for drawing them here. Nobody's welcome anymore. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We are no fighters. What brought you here, We're sailor? We were from Elturel. We took shelter here after goblins and gnolls attacked us on the road. We were bound for Baldur's Gate, and it was too late to turn back. Elturel had no place for tieflings after the descent. The descent, an infernal conspiracy that had seen the entire city <laughs> Everyone just of waits Elturel patiently. briefly dragged to the hells. Yeah, we're learning history. I know. It's just a funny conversational rhythm to suddenly just have a narrator jump in. I'm not criticizing. I'm just saying it's funny. Forty-five minutes during the first conversation when you did nothing. <laughs> I was the, debates their motivations. I was the narrator at that moment. It's important backstory stuff. Well. Maybe your people should have stayed in hell. It seems you're of a mind with our hosts here, but their ritual will force you out too. Is there no way to stop I've it? I tried. Korga, their new first druid, won't see me. You, though. I know it's not your business, but she owes you for saving this place. Perhaps you could persuade her for more time to prepare, if nothing else. Uh, I really got my own stuff Tell going on here, Zevlor. Oh, great. Maybe we'll get along after all. Oh, I understand. Man. Wait, everybody in my I party love that? For the help you've already when I was a dick? I, yeah, because well, they all have, like, brain worms drow, that you you're, you're your worried you're going to turn into a tentacle I'll monster. Sure okay, yeah. great. And they want you to get along chop, with chop. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if there's a clear path past those goblins, they'll find it. Yes. Of Goodbye, Zevlor. I'll never forget you, my king. Is it, chat, remind me, is control the button that you can press to get everything to light up that you can interact with? This What's is... alt? Okay, it's alt. Press alt. Um, I am. Maybe I'm just not in So if you, pre you press and hold alt. Yeah. Um, things on your screen should light up. Oh things my that god. You can, like, but if it's red... Note that you are, if it's red, you are stealing it. Okay. Otherwise, you can if pick it red, up. If it's red, people will get upset if you, like, try to read it or, like, take it without, uh, like, hiding. Sure. Um, but in theory, I could shoot a spell at Zevlor right now and take him out. Yeah. In, I mean, like, not even in theory. In practice. You can kill whoever you want. Yeah. Okay. Would he destroy me? Probably not. If it's like, well, what level is he? Hover over him? Maybe. Level four? Because I think you're all level two and he's level four. Yeah, but there's a lot of us, you know? Mm-hmm. It, it doesn't hurt to try. Um, but once again, what is your motivation for killing Zevlar? I just want to find the boundaries of the game. The boundaries of the... You've seen... You've been testing the boundaries a lot. And you keep saying you don't know where they are? I want to see just a really playful playthrough of this game. You know? I want... Uh-huh. That's what I'm looking for. And murdering refugees Murdering everyone is, is the playful. most playful thing you can do. I mean, it might be silly. 
it might be kind of fun. That's all video games are, is a bunch of murder. You can't act like it wouldn't be just more being interesting. A bunch of, you're just being a little silly billy. Just yes. in a little playful, silly, goofy mood. Yes! Um, is this a dead end? Yeah, no, this was never an exit. Oh, okay. There's only, okay, imagine you're in something called the Grove that is being fortified to protect from goblins. Yeah. How many entrances and exits do you think exist? Uh, probably like one, one big <laughs> gate, <laughs> if I had to guess. People are saying I should be playing Dark Urge, and I can't switch that now. That's the one that, like, rewards you, you for killing you, a bunch of people. Yes, you yeah. unconsciously are already. Okay. Um, but there's an actual you, option for You can that. hit M to look at your map. <clears throat> yep. And then, yeah. Uh, okay. Or you can just use the waypoint in the upper right corner there to, to get oh. yourself right out of there. That's interesting. And so, I mean, where should I be going to? Probably roadside cliffs. Well, I can't warp there. Yes, you can. Yeah, you can. You can just press oh. Wait, just press but it. I was already there. Just press it. Yeah. Okay. But you can't find the door, Ben. <laughs> You can't find the door to leave. All right. Now we're back on the road, baby. Gale country, we call it. Uh, let's head. Keep heading that direction. Yeah. East seems great. Mm -hmm. You can shapeshift to disguise yourself when you do bad things and so no one knows it was you who did it. All right. But I, I have a feeling you want people to know it was you based on what I've been seeing so far. <gasps> I mean, I want to have a real wacky time, you know? Uh Oh. You both twice as tall as me, but I'm off the bloody backbone. But we don't know what that thing even is. And what about the crypt? I'm telling you, it's a ship. And the crypt can wait. Mari and Barton have been trying to break in for days. Now we stop. Got ourselves competition already. That's our ship. How are we feeling, team? How are we feeling? How are you feeling? You wow. got a lot of options here. Now, a wise coach once told me to just do the thing with the highest number. Well, if it's what you want. Some, you know. Sure. What do you want to do? Mm -hmm. If I said you come across a bunch of people investigating ruins and they tell you to go F off, mm -hmm. what would you do? I'd probably intimidate the hell out of them knowing me. Yeah, then do that. Okay. Jesus. Hey. A lot of people in chat saying I should go back and kill that cow. Well, there's, well, no there's one doubt. person in chat saying you should it's, go back and kill that cow, but Twitch is however being you want to interpret that. Second worm gets the cheese and all. Um, second mouse gets the cheese, no? Nobody's getting any damn cheese. Now move it. So basically that could have been a have fight. Been to kill you could have fought them, mm. but because you succeeded your role. And you have such high intimidation. Yeah. You got to avoid them all a fight away. there. Yeah, nice. you scared them all off. Sweet. Let's go get some goods. Ooh, sack boys. I will take that. Thank you. I think. Uh, weight's an issue. I should be selective with this stuff, or? Yeah, but you can like give stuff to your companions, so it's. It's all good. Not the biggest issue, unless you're trying to carry around like corpses or barrels. How big is rope hey, in the you game? You can send everything to your camp too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Magically. Honestly, I haven't used rope once in this. Really? I think it was really useful in Divinity Original Sin 2, but I haven't used rope at all. Huh. Where can like, you I don't know why it's here. For? I keep grabbing it and I never use it. Yeah. Well, let's try and use it. That'll be the goal for the stream. Find some use for rope. Okay, well. Don't you think? Yeah, selling it. Well, something more interesting. Um, like, can I go rope up a cow? No. Some sandbox. So rope, it's good for like getting across gaps and stuff? No, you can't. I don't think you even use it. Oh. I don't know why. I think it's just here to sell and take up room in your inventory. Oh. Yeah, I'm sorry, Ben. Here's your one boundary. You cannot use rope to rope up a cow. <laughs> My world is shattered. I was surprised I'm so sorry. when I played a bit of D&D, &D, like how much of it was like, oh, there's the rope in the backpack. Seems like rope was a big thing. Rope is more useful in D&D. &D, yeah. Like uh, when you're trying to like get up and down places. Right. Uh, 
gimbal bog, everything uh, right out there? Let me in now. Oh, let's see. Oh, this sounds fun. It is me. A little performance. Nothing better. Ugh. What did I need to get? Ten. Oh, Christ. Yeah, let's roll this again. You could, yeah, you could roll again. And what's the downside for you rolling also have again? A, you also have a bonus, but I don't know. You can only use it once every, I think, long rest if it's guidance. Okay. You sound a bit shaken, boss. Hang on while I find the key. That must have been a really good performance. And you got more inspiration. Great. Love it. And how do I use the bonuses? Oh, apparently guidance is free all the time. Oh, great. It's just, it says a... Okay, now you jumped him. Hell now, yeah. Now you get to kill him. Now we're talking. All right, so big old vampire boy. Sarah, there's a lot of things here. This is... Yeah. <clears throat> This is what you do, is you just go through and read every single one of these and make the I mean, most I, of it? I mean, I know in this situation that you want to attack him. Right. So I look at my attacks. And the attacks okay, we'll are red? Yes. Okay. So but you probably want to stab him. Yeah, but in theory, I mean, I could walk up to him and push him. Improvise melee weapon yes. sounds fun. Mm -hmm. uh, I assume there's nothing around here that can be used that way. Okay. And is there just, it's just a base attack or do I always have to be using one of these thingies? Those are all base attacks. Okay. Yeah, the, the sword and the arrow are kind of base ones. The the one where it's a fist holding a knife and, yeah. or a hand holding the bow, those are like your rogue, kind of his main abilities. Okay. Um, but they're, they all fall under the main attack kind of umbrella which is what the green circle stands for. Ah. And then the that uh, orange triangle is your bonus. You have a bonus action for every character right. as well. So sometimes, depending on your class, you'll have extra attacks in there. Other, other times it's different abilities and things like that. Okay, thanks Critter Gaming for the big sub. Uh, and the cantrips, that's a free thing. Doesn't take mana? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. No, oh well. Okay. I mean, it that... doesn't take like a spell slot if you're using a spell, but basically yeah. you can do it every turn. Okay. Yeah, a cantrip is an action versus spells for like wizards and things. You can only they only have so many charges that mm -hmm. right. you can use before you rest. Uh, Leo asks, can Sarah or Jeff just say what they would do each move, and then Hanson gives it a fun rating? <laughs> that seems pretty clean. Yeah. <laughs> that seems like a way to go. Well, uh, you're a warlock, so I think you're probably more of a ranged character. So this divide here, these are my spells over here, and this is more physical stuff? No, mm -hmm. not quite. Shapeshift. That That's great. because it's your gear, because you're wearing that hat. Okay. So it's, a, it's an ability you don't have, but it's an ability that's been equipped. Okay. Well, let's do that. Oh, my God. Well, what is that going to do in this situation? It'd just be kind of fun and silly. Okay. I mean, all right, boss. Let's go back to this then. Do do whatever. No, I mean, no, we're not going to have fun in this game. I would suggest using Eldritch Blast. Eldritch, you are a warlock. You will mainly be using that. This is just the thing over and over again. Now, the yep. fact that the text is red underneath that intimidates me, but that's okay. That just means it does a lot. of. That's like the damage. You're doing force damage specifically. Great. Now, should I be running behind this fool or something more strategic? It's not like I would I would caution you against running so close to enemies because they do get opportunity attacks. Okay. Where like they could reach out and stab you. Sure. But it is good to spread people out. Okay. Um, do you recommend missing from one foot away or? No, but you do have oh. your cantrip, so I think you're maybe within range to hit him. Uh, why? Or you have your little bonus action. You have a bonus action. Ah. Use your bonus action with the sword swing and see if you can hit him. Sword. You might be too swing. far away to shove him. Flourish? Yeah. Can you. Okay, I have so many potions. Let's see how this goes. Okay, no, you're not see. close enough. Oh. Yeah. You used all your movement. What a waste. And the uh, cantrips, I can't because that, that's an action. Well, it says that you don't have it. It says must, must take a short rest. Oh, so. So you've previously used it. Yeah, the magic hand thing I'm very curious about. Uh,. I want to use that in some fun ways, but I haven't quite done it yet. Now, our dear Shadowheart, what class is she? Cleric. 
cleric. So she should stay the hell out of here and use, of course, a main hand attack. Okay. And bonus action. Walk me through it, people. Walk me through it. I mean, I mean, you nothing. can you can heal, you can take a potion, you can push people. Why wouldn't you push people every time? Sometimes I just do it because it makes me feel better. Yeah, in life or it just feels good, you know, yeah. when someone's bothering you. Yep. Give them a little push. Good old Elaine Bennis push. Um, gain proficiency in all skills of a chosen ability. All right. Well, I think you should rush them. Did that? Okay. So no no team damage type of thing? No. There is no friendly fire in this, right. which is... Unless you're doing spells. There's friendly fire spells. Oh. But, like, if it's, like, a single target, you're not going to accidentally hit your partners. Okay. So oh, very few spells will take out everybody. Yes? I won't need to worry about that, is what you're saying. I missed what you said. I was reading the chat. spells, like the group attack spells. I, I don't need to worry too much about them. Um, I don't. I think the only one that you need to be concerned about is the fairy fire. Yeah. Will also, or fairy light that will also uh, affect. You. But as long as you keep them outside of the range of that. Yeah, it'll it show will... you a big circle when you're gonna cast like an area of effect one. And so okay. just make sure people aren't in the circle. Gotcha. So. I can do this type of thing, right? Is there any down? Well, is there any downside to just letting her rip? I mean, you, you did, you did hit it. You can see it's yeah. hit bar up at the top there. But I'll just need to rest after this to get these moves back. No, you always have your uh, actions. You just don't yeah, have that was, spells. That was just a normal attack. Oh, okay. Spells are the ones that need recharging, and some abilities it will tell you it will say like short rest or long rest on the description if it's one that can only get, be used like one time. Okay. Open the door. Hmm. <clears throat> so there's someone in your party. I also think you could just over the lever, but there is someone in your party that picks locks. Is it good old Asterian or boy? It would be. All right, let's see how he does. Now, will it give me the prompt or I actually need to go in you here? You do this really crazy thing called right clicking. Right clicking. And it'll show all the abilities that that character yeah. can do with that. Mm -hmm. But I also think you could just pull the lever. I just don't want you to forget that, like, just because something's locked, you do have a No, this is what I need you here for. Um, okay, and there's no reason not to add the bonus for all this stuff? Yeah, we'll if you see, click on that. Yeah, see what it is. See so guidance. Yeah, guidance is always... always, always available. Okay. Just like uh, with this show. You guys. That's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if you added it. Really? Wow. He should. You should save, Hanson. You should do a save. Is there something Just going go on? Save. Okay. No. You should. You should save every so often. Okay. Yeah. How often are you doing? Um, are you just always quick saving? How often do you like a manual bigger save? If I know that I'm like walking through a place with a lot of enemies, yeah, I'll be like, oh, there's a creepy locked door here. I should probably save before I face check it. Hmm. Face check it. Mm-hmm. That's what, that what it's called when you walk into something with your face and you don't try to look up, look about before you walk in. Gotcha. Now, I I can't start. I can't choose who fights first, right? I can't be like, well, Asterion's in the no, front. No, because they roll. First. They roll for initiative, and some people just have, roll higher. Okay. Yeah. Although Hanson, you can see that Lazelle and uh, Asterion are both next to each other up yeah, on that bar. Yeah. So they have a and weird so you combo can switch thing. between. Yeah, you can switch between those two. Right. Um, because anytime you have multiple characters come up in the same group, you can switch between. Them. Okay, but, but they need to be. If they're separated by an enemy, then you have to. For the gotcha. Enemy to go. Okay, coaches, what do I do? I can't. Can I just walk through How here? How come you keep asking us if you can kill NPCs, but then when you're actually in a fight with an NPC? Well, it is kind because of I don't know how to thing, fight, but... Sarah. Yeah. I'm a lover, not a fighter. I mean, act like this guy is Zevlar, and you just want to. You're just in a silly, goofy mood. Well, I can't do much. This is the thing. It's like, okay, I can run to this and the then just is, end so the turn and right wait. So basically, right now, Asterion's blocking the door. Correct. So click, click his portrait, and on, on the left, 
And now you switch to him and then get him out of the door. There, that's exactly the type of guidance I'm looking uh, what, for here. What is the, hold on, Handsome. What's what's the button to see their field of vision, Sarah? Uh, You mean like, like the crouch button? Yeah. Usually I just crouch. Okay. Hits, can you hit C? The subtle approach. Yeah. Mm. So then sneak sneak up next to her. Oh, apparently it's shift to preview line of sight. I always just crouch. Ooh. Okay. Like a little weirdo. Yeah, well, that's that's acceptable. Okay, now he can't do anything. Oh wait. I think crouching it... just used his action. But it, isn't it supposed oh. to be a bonus action for Asteria? Or maybe that's when you level up or something? I think he still has it, right? Because there it is. His, yeah, he does have it as a bonus action. So what, um, what should I do here? Yeah. So basically, okay, go back to your... Stop clicking between these. They're not that useful. It's very confusing. Um, do you see that little crouch on the far right of your hot yes. bar? On the right side of the red bar? That You should use that at the end of your turn when you're playing Asterion. I feel like I, I am at the end of the turn, right? Yeah, because you used your action to crouch. So I should just crouch again and call it a day? Yeah, it's yeah. It's a it's a little confusing because with him he can do a crouch as an action or a bonus action. And so if you had done it as a bonus action, then you would be hidden and then you could have done an attack with your main action. I see. But by just pressing the crouch button, I think that accidentally used it as your main action. So which makes it sound so much more complicated than I get it. This game I get really it. Is you, yeah, you've internalized it. I think that's I think that's cool. Um, it's not this character's turn. Click to jump to the character whose turn it is. So this is the thing where it's like, oh, it's not my turn. Yeah, it's it's, it's just Lazelle and Asterian right now because you can see at the yep. top bar yeah. uh, that the enemy will go after those two. So it's just like strategically, I just end the turn early and. You can, you can try jumping. You can attack with you can, her. Right? Yeah, but I think the, the door's like, I don't know if he's having issues getting around the door or something. Yeah, I'm, I'm having a lot of issues with the door. It's, yeah. I think, the final boss. Um, okay, here we go. Let him have it. Great. We're having fun already, folks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. At least there's only one person here. Yeah, yeah. This is this is a doable fight. Although, How is it going to be something where she's a secret dragon and she turns into her or something? <clears throat> I would try to kill her before she uh, uh -huh. gets her friends. Opens though. that door. And did she? She should have pity on me because she should have seen how I was struggling with the door. Yeah. I, I, if I saw somebody like <laughs> tripping over themselves trying to get around a door, jump. I don't know if I would else. run to go tell my friends. <laughs> uh, all right, here we go. Now, now let's let her have it with a little fire move. Just roast it. That doesn't actually do damage. Excuse me? That doesn't do damage. You said I should be wary of it with my teammates. Yeah, because, okay, when, some, when you hit someone with that, people attacking them get advantage. So it makes them take, when you attack people with that glowing light above them, they yeah. take more damage. But you can put it on your teammates too, I see. and make your enemies do more damage to them. I see. What's important is that we can shove. Uh, in theory, something. All right. Uh, mission accomplished. I gotta say, we're we're kicking butt here. Onward. All right. Let's see how far we can get. Shadow heart. And. I mean, there's nothing I can do to get close to this lady, right? No, but you, she, Shadowheart has a bunch of ranged um, attacks and whatnot. Not that one. That's <laughs> literally one of you, the you not pick, ranged like, the attacks. One, <laughs> and where are you seeing this? Attack. At oh, the, the bottom. Do you see how it says 18, 18 meters, meters yep. me okay. melee? That's yeah. how you can tell if it's 9 meters. Okay. 18. Jeff, melee. you're playing on PS5. Are you just con? Mm -hmm. How's the UI there? Is it a lot of squinting to look at all these fine details? Uh, no, it's. It's much, um, it's much easier for me. Like I'm sure, I'm sure PC players like the, this is way better because you can move the mouse in between everything. On for PS5, it's like mm -hmm. radial menus that you pull up. Right. And so you just kind of, you know, point at which one you want. Yeah, it's the same on Steam Deck. Then it, uh, it worked out all right. 
Um, okay, so here we go. Guiding bolt. Is that gonna reach? Just, yeah, you can just try it. See if it'll... Oh my god. She's just outside the range. However, what do you think of that? Wow. Okay, well, when you light it on fire, make sure you don't stand in it. Sarah, there's a 0% chance of that happening. <laughs> Alright, here we go. And it's time for some buddy cop hijinks. Alright, you're right there. This is your chance to really Hamster let her chance. have it. There you go. Mm -hmm. Fairy and fire! You know, you, your likelihood of succeeding. Where was it saying that? When you select an attack, it'll say like, well, now it won't because you finished your turn. Sure. But when you like hover over an enemy, it'll say like 88% chance. Mm. So then you kind of know, you know, like how likely you are to succeed or not. Sure. Well, sure. Um, and you got yeah, bonus no. because she was fairy or fey fired or whatever the move's called. Fey farm, I think. Yeah, um, fey farmed. Okay. And then try on your stamina to Don't heal, heal her. Yourself. Don't heal her. I mean, what, can I do anything cool? With my bonus, I can dip. This seems dippable. Dip it in oil. All right. I'm gonna only dip here. So I just end the turn with her. The bonus is nothing. Yeah. Sometimes you don't need to. Sometimes you can't, or you don't need to use your bonus actions. You yeah. should always yeah, no. when you can, but it's not. So now Asterion is hiding, and you can do your sneak ranged attack if you hover over the bottom one. One down, one yeah. little icon down. So that one will do more damage um, because you're hidden from that character. But if I move, do I lose my hiddenness? No. You shouldn't. Uh, unless you moved in front of her you or can, something. But. Yeah, you can see that red mark on the ground. That's what she's viewing. Right. And if okay. you're not in that, you're probably safe. Okay. Uh, yeah, and then just hover over and it should show you. 94. 94%. 94%. Love it. Advantage. Beautiful. Can't miss. Look there at that! Go. Boom! Before Good job. she could get to the door, All clutch. All according to plan. All according to plan. It's called strategy, folks. Learn it at home. And I think the thing that people don't understand about Baldur's Gate is, like, as long as you get through a fight, it's a win. Like, it doesn't matter if it was an absolute shit show. Okay. It doesn't matter that you weren't playing to your best or, like, using all your bonus actions. As long as you get through it, that's, like, all that matters. Because you can always go to camp and there's not a huge penalty for yeah, going to camp i mean like yeah it's there's this game doesn't penalize you as often okay for failure in fights yeah it doesn't matter whatever i made mistakes in my fights as long as you win it's fine sure um but you will notice that you are out of currently out of spell slots you see that like number one on your your bottom bar with the two empty squares Number one, numeral one, this right there. Yeah. Yeah. So you are out of. You can no longer cast spells. Okay. So I should go rest up. But because because you are a warlock, if you short rest, you can get your spell slots back. So if you click on that little fire, yeah. And then you say it's top short. one, short rest. If you do that, boom, you got them back, and you can do that twice every long rest. Okay. And there's no penalty. No. All right. Great. Uh, well, let's be our dear boy. And, uh, oh, lockpicking impossible. Sarah, you told me nothing was impossible in this game. I mean, it's possible to open the door. You just can't lockpick it. Okay. What have we learned about opening doors? Don't nose Without, first. If, isn't it like if you shift C, you can, like, crouch your entire party? Oh, Christ. Something How like many that, doors yeah. will we have to open? So, crouch. And now. Okay, hang on. Let's, try, let's do this door. again. We're doing it. We're doing it. Did you, did you save after after you killed that one person? Probably. You guys. What does probably mean? Sixty percent chance, just like the loading bar. Oh God! Roll the d twenty. Um, <laughs> people are saying I definitely didn't. That can't be right. It's okay. It's okay. It's a learning situation. And what have we learned? No, you did save. Aha! No, oh, perfect. Yeah, there doubters. Who is doubters? the master of this Get game now? Who would doubt? Don't slow down. Okay. Ben is learning. He is teachable. You guys. He is teachable. And sometimes the teachables can become the teachers. That's the point of this show, everybody. So you're saying crouch mm -hmm. before going through this door. Or before opening it. Okay, so, so they yeah. won't immediately see you. What's going on with this room? That's your fey That's fire. your fey, yeah, ah, your fire thing. Thank you. Cast. Thank you, Lorch, so for the big all, subs on Twitch. All of your, does it, does it only do it when you cast it, Sarah, or is it all the time? 
Can you hover over your butterfly, Ben? <sighs> Sarah, thank you for putting in words I understand. <laughs> Uh, okay. I think it's just on pond casting. I don't think it's a... You okay. can't walk into uh, it. It wore off now, too. Well, it says so. all targets within the light. So, yeah, I think you can walk into it. I don't know why it didn't count there. Probably because you weren't in combat. So what should I be doing before I go through this door? Make sure you short rest, because you didn't save after you, you short, short rest. rest. Uh, so now you need to short rest again. Yes, yes, yes. Of course, of course. <sighs> all right. And? and now, I think if it's shift C... I... It's been a while since I've used, like, the hotkeys. But, yeah. So now your entire party is hidden. And so it won't trigger the combat right away. It shouldn't. Just don't, you know, just slowly open the door. Go over okay. there and sneaky sneak. Well, Sarah, I feel like this is a good place to stop for the first episode <laughs> of Baldur's Gate Boot Camp. We got a lot of done, so to be fair. You know yeah. what? We talked with like three people. Yeah. We killed two people. Right. This must have so. been like 80% faster than the rest of the three hours Ben did. Like we compared, like by comparison, we must be zooming. Yeah, I've never seen a game move as hit the fast. Absolutely. I'd like to formally apologize to all people um, watching this. Um, Y'all voted for it, um, and so it's your own fault. Uh, but I understand why it's frustrating to watch this. I can, I can <laughs> conceive of your world where this is a nightmare, and so I officially apologize for my comprehension ability, my gameplay, my attitude, um, <laughs> my wardrobe... Ben's just trying to get in front of all the YouTube comments. <laughs> yeah. And it's important to do that after an hour into a YouTube video to be like, by yeah. the way, I apologize. Well, you know somebody will actually make it, but everyone likes to wait for the end of the videos to write me comments. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Uh, cool. All right. Thanks, coaches. Appreciate it. Um, any, you know, people can vote for a second episode and we can go in rolling. We can kick down this door. begging you not to. <laughs> Here's the kicker. I am out if of town If you thought he was trying week. to rig the Ben knows he's not going to be here next week. <laughs> So he's like, yeah, guys, you can vote for it again. Wing, wing, wing. Yeah. I mean, I'm curious how that would work. I guess another game. I guess we'll just have to delay camp. a new show plus by a day. No, I don't think that's going to happen. Until you're back. I guess we'll just have to maybe put it on another day. I don't know if that makes sense. We'll talk yeah. about it in the Monday okay. meeting. But in theory, no, not in theory. You can vote for another episode of Boot Camp. If it's Baldur's Gate 3 Boot Camp, that's a question. Uh, we'll, we'll figure it all out, but we'll have more options as well. So thanks, everybody, for Supporting New Show Plus, supporting MinMax, uh, throwing subs our way to hit New Show Overflow, all that fun stuff. All right. Um, any wise words, uh, Boot Camp General Fava? No. That's the attitude we're our, looking for. Our spirits are broken. <laughs> Come on. That wasn't that bad. If we look, we made progress by the end. We're doing it. I but I feel like I have, I have diagnosed um, your opinions on Baldur's Gate 3. I understand now. And it's... I, you did not Wild play incompetence. Right, right, right. And to be fair, Sarah... Well, I wasn't going to say that. No, it is that. But to be fair, yeah, I, I always said I'm at the very, very beginning. I never said this game is bad and I know it. Like, that was never no, that's, a conversation. You, had a, you have a very fair opinion on it, despite your tribulations. Your My only fair thing is, it's like, it's not, it's very fair it's not hooking me yet. Yet I appreciate mm -hmm. what it is. Masterpiece, game of the year. All right, here we go. Uh, <laughs> thanks so much for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye. All right, let's send you, you over to Have you played any Giant other, Bomb. like, turn-based games? Uh, like, Tactic XCOM is really... Okay. Like, it, XCOM is the only... And Mario and Rabbids, the only tactics games that I like, honestly. It's just, it ain't my it ain't my jam. I like yeah. real-time strategy, but turn-based strategy, yeah, 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 not, not for me. Civ Rev. And Mario and Rabbids, they only have like one or two abilities, right? They don't have like... No, I think it gets up there. We're talking like five or six. Oh, okay. It's not a, a wall of stuff like Baldur's Gate. Every week, we let Patreon supporters choose which new show we create with New Show Plus. Should we create another episode of the show you just watched? Check out the biggest new game release? Get into Sea of Thieves? Create an exercise show? It is your call. So thanks to everybody who subscribes on YouTube or supports us over on Patreon. MinMax exists because of you. As always, if you enjoy MinMax content, any help telling a friend is appreciated.